In a production process, it is something pertinent to know that how far the factors are substitutable between each other when it comes to labor and capital, for instance. So we shall see a couple of possibilities of the factor substitution. We can also talk about the third one, which is the usual one, but our focus would be on those possibilities that are the extreme possibilities. So it's about the movement along the isoquant that we are trying to observe because the factor substitution happens during the movement along the curve that the labor and capital combinations they change. Now the isoquants basically they reveal the possibilities of factor substitution for a process of production. Uh, on the isoquants that we study we are able to come up with various combinations as we move on an isoquant along this curve from left to right or from right to left. The curvature of the isoquants give rise to various possibilities. Now th the curvature it, its intensity is going to guide us about how far the substitutionability exists. If there is greater curvature, if there is less curvature, this will determine. And as the curvature decreases, the substitutionability will increase, as we will see in one of these two extreme cases. Now the first of the two extreme cases is the fixed technology isoquants. These are also known as the fixed proportion uh, production function because they allow the input combinations in a certain proportion that doesn't change. For instance, if we are producing cars and wheels, there will be four wheels for a car. So it will be one proportion or ratio four or two ratio eight, three ratio twelve. So this uh, ratio or proportion will remain the same. It will not change. Another certain possibility is the production of CPU and monitor. With one CPU, we usually use one monitor. This is how we do it uh, because uh, we cannot use more than one CPUs with one monitor. Usually we use them in one ratio one manner. Now the diagram for this situation is this um, capital and labor coordinates in which we have three isoquants Q1, Q2 and Q3 and these are certain points which are the vertex or the kink in this set of curves. These are the three possible points because this much of the capital can be used with this much of the labor. We cannot change this proportion. If we want to increase capital and we want to bring it here for example then we have to increase the labor as well and this will be the level of labor because if I choose this point for instance then this will be the level of capital and the level of labor will remain the same and when this remains the same it means that we have changed the proportion it can be that awkward situation in which we are making more wheels than a car requires or maybe less cars and uh, more cars than the available wheels. So that certain ratio is to be maintained and these three points are the points that maintain that ratio. So the only possible point is here and then there is a point and then there is a point. These three possibilities are there. On the isoquant no other point is meaningful for us because it violates the fixed proportion that we have set for the production process. Now we have uh, unlimited substitution, the other case in which the substitution happens to its maximum. It is definitely the opposite of the factor substitu uh, fixed factor production uh, and production function that we just uh, discussed before and it is going to allow us to substitute as much as we want to because this is the first isoquant, this is the second one and you can see if one moves from this point to that point 
equal amounts of capital and labor will be exchanged. So you see that uh, if we move from point A for instance to point B, the change on capital axis is equal to the change on labor axis. So there is perfect substitutionability between labor and capital in this set of uh, indifference curves that have a straight line and it is definitely negatively sloped. So this was the other possibility which had unlimited substitution. The possibility between these two possibilities, that is these two extreme possibilities. We have a normal case and this is the case that we usually study where the indifference curves, they are plotted and they have uh, a direction uh, which is negative and they are also convex to the origin. So we have a normal case of factor substitution and substitution is always possible but it becomes increasingly more difficult to substitute as we become more labor intensive. So initially the substitution is convenient. We take this amount, the same labor. Right now it is easy because we can let go more of capital to get one more labor unit but afterwards when we go ahead for the same unit of labor we can only let go this much of the capital so th you see that there is uh, a change in the substitutionability it will remain there uh, there will be substitutionability but when we move from left to right it will decrease so this is how the substitutionability between the labor and capital or factors of production can happen in these three cases out of which two were the extreme cases and one was the usual case that is uh, usually uh, assumed and used in our analysis. Thank you.